and this is going to be the start. The warm-up lap has been completed and they're strangely long-winded about actually getting the grid organised. There is Siegfried Starr threading his way through the grid in the second of the two arrows. You could see Reutemann clapping his hands. That means to say he's got his engine running. He's worried. He's worried about overheating. Frank Williams leans over Reutemann's car. Reutemann shows him the time, indicates when the race is going to start. Reutemann is obviously getting very, very agitated about the fact that his Williams car engine, the Ford V8, is overheating. Patrese too is agitated. Look at Patrese and the Brabham mechanics are going to push PK's car back and and I think that Patrese has stalled his engine. This is more than mere agitation about overheating. Patrese waving his arms to indicate to the drivers behind him in case the race starts and his car engine is stalled. It started, the mechanics gone down behind his car and Siegfried Starr has smashed into the back of Patrese's car and he's hit the mechanic. You can see the mechanic lying on the ground. This is absolutely appalling, a disastrous start. And the poor unfortunate Siegfried Starr is beside himself with agitation, as well he might be. Are they going to keep the race running? Because at the start and finish point, on the grid, there is Patrese's car, there is Starr's car, there is the stricken mechanic. And they're streaming now through the Jackie Ick chicane, and Piquet goes through in the lead, and they're making no attempt to stop the race with Pironi second, Reutemann third. Jones waves his arm. There's John Watson who does the same. The drivers are very worried. They're waving their arms. 